Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants. I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today, man, as usual, man. Excuse me, guys. In this video, man, I wanted to do a video. Some of you guys were asking me, um, shout out to my man, Story Games. But he had a... He put a comment on my video about, you know, why I don't have, I'll never put Larry Bird, uh, LeBron James above Larry Bird. And in that video, I said that I had Dr. J ranked above LeBron James on the all-time rankings. And my man Story Games asked me to do a video and basically, you know, explain why I have Dr. J, you know, what's my, my rationale behind having Dr. J above LeBron James. And I thought that was a really good uh, uh, request, a very good question. And we're going to talk about in this video, guys, why I have Dr. J ranked above LeBron James. Why? I believe Dr. J was a greater player, had the greater career than LeBron James. We're going to talk about in this video, man. And I want to thank you guys, man. Everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. Once again, guys, I am truly humbled, man. Shout out to all you guys out there, man. The true basketball fans are standing up. Thank you, guys. I'm truly, truly humbled, man. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, like I said, man, shout out to my man Story Games, man. has been a supporter of my channel, man. Uh, has donated to my channel many times. Um, a much respect to Story Games. And some of the other people that commented on his comment asking me uh, to, you know, like I said, you know, explain or, or, or you know, explain to you guys why I have Dr. J ranked above LeBron James. Now, in the video about Larry Bird and LeBron James, I said in my small forwards rankings, I have Larry Bird number one, I have Dr. J number two, I have LeBron James number three. Now, for me, I have Dr. J ranked in the top 10. I have Dr. J number nine all time on my top 10 rankings. A lot of people don't have Dr. J in their top 10. My top 10 is very, very different from most people's top 10, guys, if you understand my top 10. Because I've told you guys, it's not a traditional top 10 in the sense of, oh, these guys are two through 10, right? It's Michael Jordan and everyone else. I don't care where you have these other guys ranked. As long as you have Michael Jordan number one, that, those are the facts. It's Michael Jordan and everyone else, clearly. The two through 10 do not matter. Most people have the same other nine players maybe we're off by one or two guys but using people's top 10 you have the same 10 or 12 names that come up all the time in people's top 10 lists my list is a little bit different so i have dr j in my top 10 so that shows you right there that i have a lot of respect for dr j in his career i do not have lebron james in my top 10 you guys know that he'll never be in my top 10 now when we think about dr j and we think about lebron james and the comparison between these guys most people will be like, it's a no-brainer. LeBron James is clearly the greater player, clearly had the greater career. This is what people might believe, just from looking at it on paper. On paper, yes. LeBron James has more accolades, right? He's a four-time MVP. I believe Dr. J is a three-time MVP. The championships LeBron James has over a Dr. J. I believe Dr. J is a three-time champion, I want to say. He won a couple in the ABA and one in the NBA. So on paper, LeBron James's quote-unquote longevity, the, the all-star selections, the all-NBAs, right? The scoring title that he has, right? Some of these things might lead you to believe that LeBron James is a greater player than Dr. J. Also, if you believe the narratives and the lies, then they'll say what? LeBron James is the greatest all-around player in NBA's history. They'll have you believe this nonsense. It's not the facts, though, guys. LeBron James is the greatest all-around player in history. But when we break down the games, when you watch the video footage, and you look into a lot of the details, right? The intangibles, guys. Then you can see that Dr. J, to me, you can see, is a greater player. Now, let's think about the on-court game here, right? We think about the on-court game. To me, Dr. J's on-court game was more beautiful to watch. Dr. J passes the eye test way more than LeBron James ever will. Dr. J, like I said, was Michael Jordan before Michael Jordan, right? learning from guys like Elgin Baylor, and then Dr. J putting his own flair, his own beauty, his grace, the poetry in motion, the creativity of Dr. J. LeBron James is not known for any of those things. No creativity, no gracefulness on the court, no beauty of game, no poetry in motion from LeBron James. <clears throat> Part of the reason why LeBron James never did a slam dunk contest, Dr. J did. 
So when we think about that alone, it goes to Dr. J. When we think about scoring the basketball, yeah, maybe we can say LeBron James is a greater scorer. Maybe, maybe. But to me, once again, Dr. J had the more well-rounded game on the offensive end to me. Dr. J is more a reliable jump shooter than LeBron James. LeBron James can barely shoot free throws. LeBron James is not a reliable jump shooter. Give me Dr. J shooting the ball over LeBron James. Attacking the rim. Once again, LeBron James is known for going downhill, barreling into people with his physicality, and then finishing under the rim. But once again, give me Dr. J's creativity around the rim. Give me Dr. J's finishing ability around the rim over LeBron James. Once again, Dr. J had more creative finishes above the rim or under the rim. I'm going to go with Dr. J. A lot of people don't realize that Dr. J had giant hands like Michael Jordan. Giant hands, which allowed him to manipulate the basketball in ways that other players can't, like LeBron James, who has small hands compared to Dr. J. This helps Dr. J finish around the rim. This is why you guys see LeBron James foaming the ball around a lot. His hands aren't like that, right? He don't have the hands. He's stone hands, right? He's like a feather stone from that movie, Necessary Roughness. Don't pass the stone hands. That's LeBron James. He's always fumbling and bumbling. So give me Dr. J. When we think about rebounding the basketball, once again, they're both small forwards. But Dr. J is about six foot seven, about 215 pounds, 220 pounds. LeBron James, six foot nine, 260. So he has an advantage on the size. But for some reason, LeBron James is a poor rebounder. We've talked about this, guys. LeBron James is mediocre at best at rebounding. To me, Dr. J was a greater rebounder than LeBron James. You guys know that I believe it was Dr. J's rookie season in the ABA. His, uh, in the playoffs, I believe it was in the playoffs. He averaged 30 points, pl 30 plus points per game in the series and over 20 rebounds. He averaged 30 and 20 in a series in the NBA, in the ABA playoffs, guys. Dr. J was known for it being a much better rebounder than LeBron James, man. Dr. J using his athleticism, his jumping ability, right? His quickness, his instincts to get rebounds, to get rebounds. Hustling for the rebounds. So I'll take Dr. J's rebounding over LeBron James. If we think about the defensive end, a lot of times people, once again, will assume LeBron James is a period defensive player, right? Similar to him when I was talking about Larry Bird. Oh, LeBron James is a greater athlete than Larry Bird, so he definitely plays better defense than Larry Bird. But once again, it's the consistency for LeBron James, which is the problem for him. He's not consistent like that. He don't give the hustle consistently. None of these things. When you look at Dr. J, Dr. J, to me, was a better shot blocker than LeBron James. Look at Dr. J's shot blocking ability. And he's, what, two, three inches shorter than LeBron James. But he's able to, able to average almost two blocks a game multiple seasons in his career. He averaged over a block and a half a game. LeBron James barely averaged, what, what 0.7 blocks a game? Even though he's bigger than, than and uh, bigger and stronger than Dr. J, they'll say. Right, he's a greater athlete, they'll say, than Dr. J. But he couldn't rebound or block shots like Dr. J, who played in an era with legit shot blockers, with legit big men, battling down low in a physical era. That's Dr. J on defense. As far as on-ball defense goes, Maybe we can give the edge to LeBron James at his peak, at his prime, when he gives the effort. But once again, I'll take Dr. J on defense, the help defense, the team defense of Dr. J. Because LeBron James ain't giving the effort like that. So I can't, I can't respect it. When we think about handling the basketball, right, just playmaking ability, all this stuff, yes, we could probably give the edge to LeBron James. But once again, when you think about LeBron James turning the ball over the way he does, Right, The way that he's allowed to travel up and down the court, carry the ball up and down the court. It takes away from his playmaking. It doesn't make it look as great. Dr. J played an era where guys were officiated. You couldn't travel all over the court. You couldn't carry the ball everywhere. And once again, the game was played different. Dr. J played in the system. He didn't play in his system. He played in a system. He allowed the players around him to be successful. <clears throat> now LeBron James. He won't allow anybody else to be successful. Now, this is where, to me, Dr. J separates himself from LeBron James in these next areas. When we think about the intangibles, guys, we think about this. This is where LeBron James loses it to a lot of these great players. 
We think about leadership. Give me Dr. J's leadership, man. All right? Just give me Dr. J. He's not walking up the court early. He's not blaming his teammates. He's not pointing the finger at these other guys. He was Dr. J. So right there, LeBron James doesn't have that. We think about integrity. Give me Dr. J's integrity way more than LeBron James. Think about class. Dr. J, to this day, one of the most classiest individuals that I've ever seen. The man always spoke with class and always carried himself with class. LeBron James, no. He ain't got no class. He got his wife calling him the GOAT. I mean, like, the dude is promoting his kids through social media. It's not classy. Walk off the court early. That's classless. Blaming his teammates. Never taking responsibility. No accountability. That's not Dr. J. That's LeBron James. So, once again, Dr. J has the respect of the people. LeBron James does not have the respect of the people. When we think about icon, iconicness, once again, this is where Dr. J blows LeBron James out the water. Dr. J is way more iconic, guys, than LeBron James will ever be. To me, Dr. J is a Mount Rushmore player as far as icon goes, iconicness. Dr. J's iconic, man. People used to go to the Rucker Park, sit on top of buildings, sit on top of wherever they could get, climb trees, just to watch Dr. J play ball at the Rucker. Not, not LeBron James. Not LeBron James. This is Dr. J, guys, the icon. New York City. Dr. J, the afro blown in the wind, flying through the air, the creativity, the beauty. The all-around game of Dr. J, guys. The all-around game. Give me Dr. J. Much more iconic than LeBron James. Right, we talked about LeBron James has played for all these years, but don't have no iconic moments. No iconic moments. He got a chase down block. Okay. If we took Dr. J's layup against the Lakers going under the basket or Dr. J finishing uh, that dunk over Michael Cooper, the rock the cradle dunk, those two plays right there or way more iconic than anything LeBron James ever done. Dr. J at the Rucker is more iconic than LeBron James. Dr. J in the ABA is more iconic than LeBron James. Dr. J's Afro is more iconic than LeBron James' career, guys. Those are the facts, man. Which leads me into this, this other part that I feel like is the big problem that a lot of people have with Dr. J and why he's not respected more or ranked higher is the ABA. For some reason, People do not respect the ABA or count the ABA the way they should. The ABA was a legit league with legit players. This is why the NBA took the ABA in, right? Brought in what, six teams? They adopted a three-point line from the ABA, guys. The slam dunks, the alley-oops, that's from the ABA. They were known for the flash, the pizzazz, not the NBA. Without the ABA, the NBA is not in existence today, guys. There's no three-point line without the ABA. What are these fools in this whack era doing without the ABA three-point line? What are they doing? They're playing real basketball. See, these guys have abused it. Back in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the, 2000, the 2000s, they didn't abuse the three-point line. So the game was still balanced. It was still beautiful to watch. So the ABA must get respect. And Dr. J's ABA career must get respect. Dr. J was the ABA. Dr. J was the main reason why the NBA was still around for Magic Johnson and Larry Bird to bring it into the 90s. So we would not, there would be no golden era of NBA from the mid 80s into the 90s without Dr. J saving the NBA. Not Kareem Abdul Jabbar. It was Dr. J, guys. Kareem Abdul Jabbar is not flashy, he wasn't iconic the way that. Dr. J was. Dr. J captured the imagination. Dr. J was poetry in motion before Michael Jordan. He was the one flying through the end of slam dunk contest. He was the one with the Chuck Taylors. It was Dr. J, guys. He kept the NBA around for Magic and Bird. People forget these things, man. So this is all goes to why I have Dr. J above LeBron James. In my all-time rankings. That's why, guys. The games on the court. It's, people would think that LeBron James blows away Dr. J on the court. It's not so. 
Dr. J, to me, had a better overall offensive game. To me, Dr. J had a better, def uh, was a better shot blocker, a better rebounder. He was a better leader, right? He was able to play on a team system. He could play with different kinds of players and not hinder them, right? Moses Malone could be Moses Malone with Dr. J. Bobby Jones and Maurice Cheeks, right? Andrew Tony, all these guys, man. And once again, Dr. J's ABA career. To me, Dr. J was the best player of the 70s. That's just me, guys. I don't have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar like that. To me, it's Dr. J, man. Dr. J was, like I said, we don't get Michael Jordan without Dr. J. We don't get Dr. J without Elgin Baylor. Dr. J was that guy, man. Like I said, the slam dunk contest, the icon. One of the most iconic players in the history of the game, guys. Easily. Way more iconic than LeBron James. Way more respected than LeBron James. Dr. J's not asking for respect. There are people who tell me in their comments that they have Dr. J as the greatest small forward of all time. There are some people that believe that Dr. J is the greatest player in NBA's history. A lot of people believe he was the greatest player of the, of the ABA's existence. The man was sensational. Like I say, respected. LeBron James ain't got the respect. But once again, Dr. J didn't cheat the fans. He didn't cheat the game. Dr. J played with a love of the game. LeBron James, guys, honestly, to me, is becoming almost unrankable because of the way that he destroys his legacy through the walking off the court, right? Blaming the teammates still. Still, in t 21 years later, you're still taking, you're not taking any blame? Like, come on, man. Dr. J wasn't pointing the finger at other people. So for me, LeBron James, I can't put him above Dr. J. I can't. Once again, yes, LeBron James got more stats than, Le than Dr. J. No doubt about it. But LeBron James don't have the class. He don't have the heart of Dr. J. He don't have the respect of Dr. J. And to me, the overall games, I'm going with Dr. J. The rebounding, the hustle on defense, the shot blocking, the leadership. Dr. J's overall offensive arsenal. His dunking was better than LeBron James. And you can argue the athleticism. As far as basketball goes, you can argue the athleticism. Look at Dr. J's body. This guy was in shape, man. This dude was all muscle. And he was a high flyer. And he battled in a tough era. And I'm going to leave it on this, guys. When we think about Dr. J... We think about guys like Larry Bird. We think about some of the great small forwards. Dr. J went against these guys. Dr. J went against John Havlicek. He went against Rick Barry. He went against Larry Bird. He went against the Adrian Dantleys. He went against the Dominic Wilkins. He went against these guys, man. The Bernard Kings. The James Worthies. He battled against some of the greatest small forwards in the history of the game, guys. The history of the game. Fierce competition from Dr. J in the mid-70s into the 80s. Going against legendary Boston Celtic teams, legendary Laker teams. Going against tough Milwaukee Bucks teams. Battling against the, the uh, Washington Bullets teams. Going against those tough Celtics teams in the 70s. Battling in the ABA. For the New York Nets. You guys know the deal, man. I think he was on the uh, the other team he was on. He was on another team too, man. But once again, guys, I'm going with Dr. J over LeBron James in his weak era that he's played in, that he's quote-unquote dominated. Not impressed, man. Give me Dr. J. Second greatest small forward of all time ahead of LeBron James. I can't, I can't do it, guys. I told you, man, LeBron James is becoming unrankable because this man completely disgraced himself with this nonsense that he does. Not carrying himself in any class, no integrity, no love of the game, don't respect the fans. You guys know the deal, man. So I hope you guys get where I'm coming from. I hope you guys understand. I hope I gave you guys a good breakdown and perspective of why I have Dr. J above LeBron James on my all-time rankings. To me, it's Larry Bird, then Dr. J, then LeBron James, Jen, then John Havlicek, and then I have Elgin Baylor. And like I said, LeBron James, I'll tell you what the hell now. 
if the man plays another season, if he goes next season and does the same nonsense that he does again this year, just continues this, walking off the court early, never taking any blame or accountability, pointing finger at teammates, getting more coaches fired, load managing. If he continues to do this stuff, celebrating in-season tournaments, if he continues to carry himself this way, I'm taking LeBron James out of all rankings for NBA's history, period. I'm never ranking him against these other guys. Because you're starting to get into the realm where I cannot respect myself and look myself in the mirror up, putting LeBron James above some of these guys. It, it's a slap in the face to them, to their history, to their memory, and what they did. So shout out to Dr. J, all the Dr. J supporters. You guys know the deal, man. LeBron James, not put him above Dr. J, man. Not. Yeah, LeBron James might have the hardware. He might have on paper resume. But that's LeBron James. Everything for LeBron James on paper. It don't add up in the video footage. He's an embarrassment to the NBA, guys. You guys know the deal, man. Once again, I'll catch you guys on the next one.